After my last video where we talked about the problems with scratch I was actually confused I kept thinking where do we go from here then it hit me just the other day amazing developers of Jamango had reached out asking me to give their platform a try and honestly it might just be the answer I was looking for Jamango is making game creation simple social and fun for everyone all without coding downloads or any barriers it is amazing if you are coming from scratch as it offers easy and fun way to make games or as a red one comes and say scratch on steroids you need absolutely zero prior experience with coding as jamango makes game development feel like a game itself while still offering deep creative potential jamango is also resetting the bar for browser game development and gaming as the games run smoothly in the browser just instant access with one click of a link on any device anywhere currently in closed alpha jamango is working with creators like me to refine its core features so click on the link in the description and try it out today to show you what i can already do in jamango let's make a game okay so here we are in jamango and as you can see this looks really good start world we'll be making a platformer by the way so i think we should go with wild west desert desert platformer but it's actually good so we can do one thing we can make our platforms over the sand we can remove this all and make it a like a just water area let me show you a tool that can make it much quicker it's called the pencil tool now let me show you how it works so first of all let me put the start point i would say that would be first let me build something like this this is the starting point and our end point would be let me check Okay, so we'll just erase these blocks just like in Minecraft. Select corner one, and now I can just go and select a layer. Here we go. And now I can just erase them. I can just click on remove all block. As you can see, so we have this area cleared now. So now I can just make platforms on this. We'll make a simple level, like not that big of a level, but it will be difficult though. So let's start building. We have a lot of blocks. Okay, we have jump block. We have player check. Point one super speed na spring jumps na I think these three are good. As the game is really simple, I wanted it to be at least difficult. So after a lot of thinking, here's what I made. So yeah, I think our game is ready. So I've called Sauce and Prince to join my game so they can help me with making sure that jumps and uh, player checkpoints actually work. So let me share them the link. This is a really easy thing to do. Like you can just press E, then you can play, and now you have the link. You can just copy it and you can share it. That's it. And they can just join using this link. As you can see, Sauce joined, Prince joined as well. Okay, so he's using the wrench tool and making them work. Prince is helping me with the player checkpoints or he's trying out the game. Yeah, okay, that was a nice jump. Okay, we have the script here. He's working on this as you can see. Okay, that worked. Wow. Ooh, that was nice. Okay, that was so good. Collaboration is a really good thing in Jamango, unlike Scratch, bro. This is so easy to collaborate. Like, look at them. They are literally coding with me right now. I can look them like in Minecraft. This is so cool. In closed alpha, you are this good. Imagine the final product. And this is so easy. Like, if you see the wrench tool, this is the bounce pad. As you can see, this entire thing is a bounce pad. And if I want to make sure that using this blob also works that way, I can just assign the script to this. And then this will act like the bounce pad script, which is really cool. So, okay, you saw that. Oh, even I died, bro. The entire area below is red. Like, of course, that is selection, but that basically means if we fall, we will die in the game. So we can just first of all use the wrench tool and mark them. We will call falling blocks or falling block and then create a new script. So as you can see, we have a lot of blocks or scripts. So as you can see, like add. So this will be used for adding. And this is so simple, like value one plus value two. One plus two should be three. The sum is here. This is so easy. Okay, for now, I don't need this. So collision start on block collision start then i'll wait for like two seconds i can put a wait just like scratch we can like wait for like two seconds and then make it like make the blocks disappear so we can put here i can see set blocks so block group set blocks i can just put here we can just change them to air and then wait another time so we'll wait and this time also two seconds now that would be predictable let's make them three seconds this time after that we can just make them appear so we can just use the same thing block set and put it here and now back to cube now this should work 
according to me save and close so another falling block falling block one i would say or falling block two sorry and i'll add script our falling block script save same for this save yeah this should work now let's see if this works so jump oh <coughs> As you can see, it works. You can see I am great at coding on any website, bro. I know. Thank you. Now, finally, we are done with the game. So let's play and see if I can win this game. <coughs> Already lost, bro. Okay, let's start from scratch. I mean, start from zero. Okay, checkpoint, finally. Okay. 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 <coughs> Bro. Okay, now falling blocks. This is scary. Oh, oh, oh. It made the same sound though. That's crazy. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay. Checkpoint, bro. Let's go. One. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. It is not impossible, but it is impossible for me. So I'll have to, what? Cheat, let's go. Here we go. Yeah. Where is the confetti? I guess the confetti doesn't work when we cheat. Anyway, so I think this was a really good game. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And I don't think anyone can make this level of craziness in scratch. And let me tell you, this is barely 1% of what you can make in Jamango. If you check out the website now and play the games available, then you'll understand what I'm talking about. So click on the link in the description and try it out now. Thank you for watching.